Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Internet of Drones Edition with our special guests Cube Bread and Raspberry Pi or to be real about it Cube Pilot Cube Red and the Raspberry Pi companion computer. So how's this all gonna work? In the previous video, link in the description, you'll see how the Cube Red flight controller has a built-in ethernet adapter and can connect via TCP IP. But how's that gonna work in a real plane, a real VTOL, a real drone? And the answer is, well, you're gonna need some devices and of course they need to be not that big and we have answers for all of those things so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how some of these things can be connected just as ideas because possibilities are endless for how once you say a, a, a flight controller like the cube red has tcp ip how are you going to connect it and what are you going to connect it to well here's just one idea start with the cube red now we have this switch blocks and this switch blocks ArduPilot adapter is a very lightweight ethernet switch that will enable us to connect the cube red to other devices. Other devices could include, and in my opinion will include a companion computer such as the Raspberry Pi. Uh, also the Jetson Nano is another common companion computer used in these kinds of computers, uh, these kinds of vehicles. The A8 Mini is a internet connected digital uh, camera and there are many other cameras available. I have, have this one and it happens to have uh, an ethernet connector and I'm going to connect that via this to the Raspberry Pi and to the Artipilot Cube. What else could you connect? Well, what I have here is a Coral AI uh, USB TPU accelerator. It gives you the ability by plugging in via a USB port for the Raspberry Pi to have AI on board. And that'll mean in a drone, in a plane, with these devices, this connected, you will be able to run AI um, processing engines on board. This is a LTE data stick. By connecting an LTE data stick to the Raspberry Pi through a USB port, all of this will be able to be connected to the internet, to the cloud, to things like Autopilot Cloud, and to AI engines running on the cloud. And that's just the beginning because there are there are some other amazing options. There is, for example, the uh, Silvus IP radio that is IP connected and would enable the Cube read via ethernet to connect uh, at about an 80 megabit per second data rate to a ground station or a controller. So it's just a question of imagination and people coming up with new devices because once you've got the ethernet and once you've got a switch you can plug in a lot of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the cube red with this switch box switch the Raspberry Pi, the A8 Mini, the Coral AI USB accelerator, and the Alcatel Link Key data stick. I'm going to set that up step by step, configure each device, and have it fully up and running in this video. So stay tuned. It'll be very interesting. And please like and subscribe. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly lay out all the pieces on the board. This whole thing is going to be on the on the bench. I'm not putting it into a vehicle. This is to show how everything can be connected together and actually connected together and make it work. But I'll do it all on the bench to show what could, what the possibilities are when this stuff goes into a, a plane, a quad plane, a VTOL, a drone, uh, or a Saab or a Rover or whatever. So let's start with the the star of the show, the cube red, that makes it all possible. So what we have here, the cube red has power, and most importantly, it has an ethernet connection. So let's connect that in. 
There we go. So we have an Ethernet connection. All right. So what we're going to need now is we're going to need a switch. And the switch is going to connect this cube red running autopilot, by the way, fundamental to this whole process. Because, and I'll show you this later on. The magic of autopilot is what makes this all of this possible. And the magic of autopilot is new code that's included in the latest release of autopilot 4.5. Now, as of filming this video, 4.5 is not even released. This is pre-release. Potentially, and fairly soon, it'll go into public beta, and then, you know, most likely within a month or two, this will be, you know, full release product. But 4.5 uh, version of Artie Pilot is required to make this work. So what we've got here, and there's two little components in this box. This is the one that matters. One of them is, a, is actually a switch, um, but the switch is not going to be much good just because of the cube red and the way the cabling works. This is the one that is actually going to make this work because what I can do here is I can connect the cube red to this Ethernet mm -hmm. RJ45 port here, give you the connectivity between the uh, potentially between the flight controller and other devices on the plane. This one, I believe, is a switch. Now, this seems like it'd be a good idea to have a switch um, to enable the connections. The trick is that the switch port here doesn't have a port that connects to the flight controller. But the flight controller has this RJ45 output, and this adapter here as the RJ45 that matches. So, okay, what I have here is two adapters that should enable me to connect the Cube Pilot, the Cube Red here to the other devices. You'll see how we solve that later. What I wanna do now is just show you what the other components are gonna be that are gonna to connect to this. So first of all, we have our, our Raspberry Pi. So this is the Raspberry Pi. The key is this tiny little board here is a complete computer. This can run Linux and there is a HDMI port, mini HDMI port here. There are USB connectors so you can connect a keyboard and a mouse. You can run a Linux desktop on this tiny little board. Now we're gonna run it without having a desktop included on it and we're gonna connect it to this stuff using what this piece, which which is called a Raspberry Pi hat. And the Raspberry Pi hat gives the Raspberry Pi by just basically adding extra ports on here. It gives it the ability to have extra connectors. And in particular, this hat, this one here, has an Ethernet connector on it. So I'll be able to connect the Raspberry Pi here with this hat by this RJ45 to one of these boards here. And there we have a cube red connecting through the switch blocks to the Raspberry Pi. What's next? Next we have the A8 Mini. The A8 Mini is a uh, an advanced gimbal camera from uh, C and the A8 mini has and here we have it I've taken it out of its box because I had this installed in a plane and this A8 mini gimbal camera is designed to be mounted as you can see mounted upside down like that it's a very very nice little camera it has this ethernet connection here and this A8 mini ethernet connection will also take one of these RJ45 connectors, which will connect to the switch blocks, probably to the switch, I'm guessing, and that will work. So, so far we have the cube red, the switch blocks, we have the A8 mini, with its ethernet connection and we have the raspberry pi with its ethernet connection and what's the last thing the last thing is this guy 
So in the, with this, what we have is very simple, straightforward. Here we have the cloud. Well, it's not the cloud in a box by itself, but this is the connection to the cloud. So by plugging this standard LTE data stick into the other USB port on the Raspberry Pi, there we go. We will now have an LTE mobile data connection as long as we're within range of mobile data, that will work. And there's a lot of places that are not in range, but most places are. So we will have the Raspberry Pi will be able to communicate to the cloud and therefore the Cube Red through these connections will be able to communicate to the cloud for AI processing to run autopilot cloud and for uh, other connectivity, APIs, data in, data out, again, or potentially connecting to other drones in a swarm. So this is the complete picture of all of the components that I'm gonna to connect together and show you how that works. The Raspberry Pi will be connected to the internet and I'll show you it connected to the internet. This A8 mini camera will stream uh, H, 265 video over the internet via this US, uh, USB LTE data stick over to a, a, a computer and I'll show you that. This AI uh, TPU engine will be accessible from the Raspberry Pi that will be able to process data coming from the, the Cube Pilot. It will all work. And I'll show you all of those components. I'll show you the basics of how to set each one up. Simple, happy path use cases, no, no, no complexity. And uh, it will be, honestly, it will be pretty amazing.